Welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday brought to you by Optimize Worldwide. Today we're going to talk about link building for better search engine rankings. Um, what we can do oftentimes is do a lot of things to our website to get better rankings that we have control of and that's a lot oftentimes called on-page SEO strategies. You can do things like optimize your website and the content with, that with, that's on it. Uh, make sure your website's mobile friendly, increase the page speed, install an SSL certificate to make it secure, submit your sitemaps. You can do all those things and you have control of that to let Google know how great your website is and why you should rank in Google. But um, you can say you're the greatest construction company in um, whatever town you live in or the greatest real estate agent, but Google really wants to know what do other people think about you uh, in order to properly rank you in Google as a trusted source. And so there's other SEO strategies you can do to build trust, uh, authority, and uh, those are often called off-page strategies. And it, it's things you are not controlled on the website. Things like link building, and that's uh, where basically another website is linking over to your website. Citations are like small business uh, listing directories where they have your name, address, phone number, and most of the time they have your web address in that directory as well. That counts as a link that's pointing over as well. Other off-page strategies are social media that is becoming a ranking factor. So when people are mentioning, hey, I just had the best lunch at XYZ restaurant, and they're mentioning you and linking to you, um, those are all signals that are um, sh telling Google that you, you truly are a great company to, uh, that should be represented in search results as a top ranking website. So today I want to focus on the link building portion of it. How do you build links and what does that mean? What type of links do you need to build that trust, that authority in Google search? And some of the best practices is that you want to get links from other relevant websites. If you're a mortgage company or a real estate company, you really want links from relative industries. So you could have, if you're a real estate agent, you'd want links from a mortgage company. That's a supporting industry or a construction company or even landscaping. Those are all related to the real estate industry. Google's going to recognize the links that are pointing over to your site. You go, this is good. Uh, you want quality over quantity. So oftentimes people go, oh, links are this, the best way to rank higher in Google. So they'll get tied into um, some overseas company who has emailed them that says, I can get you 500 links for $99. That can get you in hot water. The quantity means nothing. You really want the quality of the link. And the way you uh, evaluate the quality of the link is that um, it's coming from a high domain authority from trusted sources. And so to give you an example, from some no-name website that has a bunch of ads on it nobody ever goes to, that's a really low quality website, uh, kind of in a bad neighborhood is what we'll call it, that link doesn't have much value to it at all. In fact, it might actually penalize you. You really want a website from a very high trusted source. Um, for example, a link from CNN.com is a very high domain authority. One link from that is worth 10,000 links from real shady, non-relevant websites. So it's really important to go after links that actually make sense from trusted sources and those links will have much more weight to it in Google's eyes. You also want to make sure not to fixate on getting links. Say you have a website where they're constantly linking to you, writing blogs and mentioning you. Um, you might have a thousand links, but they're coming from two different websites. You really want to spread that out and get links from multiple domains, multiple websites. And that again shows Google that not only one or two people think you're great, but many people think you're great. And that's building up that trust, that authority, that credibility. Um, imagine these websites are kind of like, when they link to you, it's kind of like a vote. And um, so one strategy you can use is guest blogging. We call that guest blogging because you're not blogging on your website. You might be reaching out to another real estate blog and writing an article and pitching it to them and saying, hey, I have a great article to go good on your blog. It's 10 tips for preparing your home for sale. You write this content that they can have. You got an image and you slap a link inside that blog that links back to your website and there's one link you've built from a relevant website. Hopefully this blog has a good authority, a trusted source and that would be a really good link. And that's just one quick tip on how to build links. Um, another thing to consider though when you're doing link building and you're trying to look for opportunities on, hey, I wonder if this website would link to me. You really want to pay attention to whether or not they put a no follow tag on their uh, links. 
And what this means is when you have a link, here's the HTML code for a link. If they've got the, uh, it's going to point to say your domain name, but then they throw a nofollow tag on your link. What that's telling Google is do not pass any page rank or authority from my website to this website. And uh, so I wrote on here, does not pass page rank or link juice. So oftentimes in our industry, we'll call it link juice. And so this link, while nofollow links still have some value to it in the large quantities, um, you really want to go after links from high trusted authority and make sure it does not have this nofollow tag on it, that you're really actually getting a benefit from that link. Otherwise, you're putting in hours of work, and they're kind of telling Google, don't credit this link. Uh, so that's this week's Whiteboard Wednesday on link building. There's more tips on our website, and we have a great week.